seventh race is a graduation plate over 1,400 metres. Expected to go off at 5 past 4, 16.05. And at this point in time, uh, it is a 10 race, a 10 horse field, a 10 horse race. Let me get that right. And uh, Graham, as you mentioned, uh, the best weighted column is always a good guide in graduation plates. It's tough. I like a, a horse, uh, uh, each way selection for me, number six, Canadian Bolt, that is going to have it all to do with the weights, going to have it all to do with the ratings. Uh, 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 but it's, it's tough. It's a tough, tough event, and so it should be. Interesting, they fitted uh, blinkers to number six, Canadian Bolt. That's a late declaration. And the last time he ran in blinkers, he actually was placed. That was still when he was back in maiden company. So obviously they've decided to fit the blinkers to perhaps sharpen him up a little bit. His last two runs, not bad. But as you say, in a graduation plate, he's not that well weighted. But there are a number of reasons why some of the better rated horses may not run to their best form. Five stop all the clocks is the best weighted and the early favorite, Anton Marcus, uh, Justin Snaith. Uh, what worries me is the late declaration that this will also run in blinkers. Now, last time he was reported to have over-raced early. Uh, that was at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. And I would have thought the last thing that you would do with a horse that over-raced with you last time is fitted with blinkers. But they've put the blinkers on. In its favor is the fact that it's only run on the surface. Its penultimate start on the 1st of July was on the poly track and stop all the clocks ran second behind the very useful Via Solaria. He is weighted to win the race, but marginally. The best weighted column includes stop all the clocks, Perfect Peter, Dancing Feather, Drunken Sailor, Brass Bell. Perfect Peter's been out of sorts, Dancing Feather might need a bit further, Drunken Sailor has been running below par, which leaves us with Brass Bell as a, a potential winner at the weights. Been very game, very consistent, he should be right there again. The one you've picked out, Canadian Bolt, the one that's not rated to run well, but I think maybe better than his rating, is number four, Go Man Go, from the Andre Nell stable. I thought he was a good winner last time out. He's, as you mentioned, off air, a very nice looking son of Gimme the Green He's Light. Magnificent. He's magnificent. only had six starts. He's magnificent. He yeah. may be pounds better than where he's rated right now. So I've gone with number five, stop all the clocks to win it. From number four, go man, go. Healthy respect for eight, perfect Peter. If he bounces back to his best form, and obviously number 10, Brass Bell, is very game, very consistent. Um, but I'm a little bit concerned that they put the blinkers onto number five, stop all the clocks after he overraced in his last start. Okay, that's a fair enough concern and you've given your reasons why. But yeah, just going back to Go Man Go, whoa, I, when he walked in the parade ring last time and when he won, he really took my breath away, smashing a, a son of Give Me the Green Light, and you're quite right. Won well last time, and he certainly could be the one they all have to set their sights on here. But it's a graduation plate, you've heard it from Graham. Uh, my value, with not much confidence, is number six, Canadian Bolt, and let's see how this race unfolds. But it looks tough.